What's up guys? We're gonna be um cleaning some gecko cages, so I figured I'd do some updates on these guys. This is the um first pair of radars that I hatched out this season. Both of them are looking really good. They're growing really fast. This one's still pretty patternless besides the, the big blotches it started off with, so hopefully uh not too much spotting is gonna come in. The um the clutch that's right behind this one, uh that thing already has a little bit of spotting and streaks and stuff, but Anyway, it'd be cool to have this one just nice and clean the way it is. I put nice fresh uh, paper towels in and one of them dived into a brand new uh, lay box I was making. These are the first two that hatched from the uh, tangerine cross that we did. So this right here is an Eclipse 100% Hep Bell, and then this would uh, be a um, possible Head Eclipse and 100% uh, Hep Bell. I'm really liking the color on that one, and this is probably one of my favorites. I just really like that head pattern. A lot of white on the face, I hope it kind of stays that way. This was uh, the next pair right here, Bells. This is a visual radar, the other one's just a hat. But um, this came from a different female and these ones also turned out really nice. This one's not going to open its eyes, but it's got um, nice bright cherry red eyes. Even the hat right here came out with an awesome stripe. Has a lot of tangerine influence on it, which is cool. Especially uh, neither one of the parents really had a whole lot of tangerine. I actually held the mother of this because of her bright yellow. These guys are trying to escape on me. Try to get a little side by side. You can see um the radar is a lot more of that like lemon yellow. And then the, the hat um has a lot more tangerine going on. Now these two crack me up. They're from the same female that uh, the first clutch was from. And um, these guys are just polar opposites. This one right here is just a hat. It's 100% hat. It's from a um, visual radar pairing. And uh, this one right here, I'm sorry, a visual to a hat. But uh, this one right here is a visual radar. And it's so funny because it came out super short. Very stocky, but it just, uh, I don't understand how the egg that it was in was the exact same size and it came out so much smaller than this gecko right here. I mean, they haven't really changed much since they hatched. I mean, they've grown, but I'm saying the difference between the two hasn't changed much, but uh, it's just funny. This thing right here is a sweetheart, um, never screamed at me, still to this day hasn't screamed at me. Uh, but this one right here, I mean, you catch it at the wrong time, and that's mean. I, it actually has nipped at this thing once or twice because I, I had it agitated. But very cool looking. This one has such a dark uh, purple. It's not going to let me pick it up, but um, just very cool. It's pretty distinct compared to the rest of them. I mean, this one's in a shadow, and you can just tell the difference. These guys are really cool. They're um, also from the Blood Emerine, paired to the uh, the girl that got the amputation last year. Very cool color on both of these. They're both just uh, possible head eclipses. I didn't want to put them in the other container yet until I get the load ready because they're uh, both of them are pretty jumpy. But so far, um, I don't believe I've got a single plain banded animal. And uh, I have paired, yeah, um, the blood emerine was banded and uh, some of the females are banded. So I think it's pretty cool to have all these jungles and stripes and cool patterns. Even these aberrant ones, most of them have more than one broken band, which is pretty cool. The tails are pretty cool on them too. These two are definitely my favorite pair. 
just as far as personality wise. Both of them are uh, super tame. They're a little bit jumpy just from being young, but uh, pretty much a minute or two after having them out, they start to calm down real fast. One was born with snake eyes, and the other one has uh, solid black eyes. This is basically the, the original Eclipse. This is exactly what it looked like. Oh, God. So that's the snake eyed one right there. And if you can't tell, one is much darker than the other. Neither one of these are in shed or anything, but uh, one just has a much darker appearance. These two girls are really cool. Um, I don't know why I thought one of these was a radar, but um, neither one of them are. This one uh, actually hatched like almost a year apart exactly from the first um, smiley face one we had. And, uh, and that girl is actually laying in, in some of these babies. Some of the, uh, the eclipses are hers. But anyway, um, it's kind of hard to see. She's not really getting on a good angle, but she's got a nice little smiley face. Um, it's basically a broken stripe that uh, creates it. But there's the two eyes and then the other side would be the um, the smile. But anyway, this, this thing's pretty cool too. Um, I've had quite a few of these that come out like kind of pinkish, and um, they usually turn out pretty cool when they get older. I have one um, breeding to the tangerine. Well, it's done breeding, but it's laying eggs right now that uh, that came out like this, and it still has a very light hue to it compared to, to most of the others. So it'll be cool to see how that translates into the tangerines and stuff. There you go. We hit on two more really cool eclipses. These are from the smiley face girl also. And um, I think it's pretty funny. This one's got kind of like a frown face on there. Both of these are really, really cool looking. They're definitely the brightest of uh, any of the non-albinos that I hatched so far. This thing's in the shadow, so it's going to be hard to see it, but I'm pretty curious to see how they turn out. And they got a whole lot of patterns, so if any of that sticks around, hopefully we'll get some cool greens and stuff like that. Once again, like I said, even the, the um, all the stuff from the Blood Emmerine, who, who's a banded animal, they, they're, every one of them are at least like a little apparent. So these are the last two clutches that hatched. I forgot um, one of these came out, and then it was pretty much back and forth. We got an albino first, I believe, and then one of the tangerines came out. And the uh, flip flop, but these ones are pretty cool. I have another one that has a very similar pattern to this one right here, and um, I really like this one also. I believe both of them are visuals. Um, I can't see the other one, but this one right here is definitely a visual. I'm trying to look at this one here, she doesn't want to open her eyes. But anyway, I left them in there so you get a little contrast. I mean, like I said, the albinos, um, for the most part, have been brighter than the tangerines when they hatch out. But um, this set of the tangerines or eclipses or whatever, they, they just look really nice. You can see the really dark, dark eyes. It almost, it, it almost looks like um, full uh, blacked out eyes, but both of them have snake eyes. At least in one eye. I've definitely seen a snake eye on both of them. Oh. Alright, I'm going to get these guys out here. They're all uh, brand new, so um, I don't want to stress them out. Some of them actually just came out yesterday. we got more to come, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on everything as it grows out.